hey guys it's been a couple of days that i actually did a video so here we go today i'm gonna unbox a new accessory for the sony alpha 6500 this is basically a meta bone speed booster kind of a device uh, this is from a company called velo so uh, this retails about 499 dollars but i got it for 149 dollars of the bnh dairy deals which they do on daily basis so what this allows is uh, it allows me to mount a canon ef lens on a sony alpha 6500 by attaining one stop of extra light so approximately it's not exactly one stop but it's it's around like if my lens is 1.8 it makes the lens 1.3 it's not exactly 1.2 so i'm not sure if it is full turn uh, but yeah it improves so I tested out my Sigma 18 to 35 mm on the Sony Alpha 6500. Unfortunately, it may not handle it because of the veneering effect. And it's basically designed for full frame lenses. So unfortunately, I cannot use my Sigma 18 to 35 mm, but I was actually planning to get uh, a 50 mm Canon EF lens. So I thought this is a good option right now so i ordered a 50 mm f1.8 because i can make it approximately 1.2 or 1.3 instead of buying the canon 50 mm f1.4 usm i ordered the stm version because it's pretty cheap and this adapter makes it much easier so let's unbox this and see what exciting features this has and how will it affect the overall picture quality so here we have the the user manual I don't think we need to go through it we are already aware of everything let me just pull this guy out so this is the box nice and neatly packed hmm premium this is very nice actually i also ordered a metaboon speed booster ultra earlier and it didn't have anything it was just a plastic box packed after we are spending 650 dollars on an adapter they have just sent it in a plastic box so that really doesn't make any sense so this is really good and this is actually de detachable so if you have larger lenses such as the Canon 50, 70 to 200 mm f2.8, then probably you can use this uh, tripod mount. So let's see how it looks. Mm -hmm. Made in China as usual. Wow, the quality is superb. I feel like it is outstanding. And by the way, it allows electronic communication. So I have a Sigma 18 to 35 mm. So I unfortunately I cannot test the autofocus, but I've ordered a Canon 50 mm f1.8 STM lens. So probably we can just mount it once it's available and test how the autofocus works using this adapter. This is really premiumly built. It is fully metallic and I definitely feel that this can hold larger lenses as well. So it's premium build. The appearance is very appealing and the great thing is the lens quality also looks crisp and sharp. I can actually see how sharp it looks right away from the other side of the image. I can clearly see how sharp it is. The build is amazing for 149. I don't expect you can get something as like this. Yeah, so this is how it looks. So what I'll do is in the upcoming few seconds, I'll just mount the Sigma 18 to 35 mm on the sony alpha 6500 and we'll just test it out as to how it looks hey guys right now i'm actually testing out the velo adapter with the sigma 18 to 35 mm mounted with the sony alpha 6500 so right now i'm at the 35 mm everything is being shot in the 4k resolution and things are looking good and fine for me as of now and i didn't change any setting on the camera it's just recording as the same way and the aperture is at f1.3 as i told you it's not f1.2 it's f1.3 
And apart from that, I don't see any much veneering at 35 mm. And if I zoom out, let's see what happens. So I'm at 35 mm right now. Let me go to the 28 mm and see if we see any veneering effect. So I don't see anything as of now. Things are looking good. I'm just zooming in again to just feel if I'm seeing any veneering or not. So let me just zoom out again. So I'm at 20, 20, 28 mm. Right now, let me go to 24 and see. Nope. I don't see any veneering now as well. Let me go all the way to 20 mm and then see. Okay. I'm starting to see some veneering at the corners. So here we go. We are at the 18 mm right now. So looks good. I mean, for my needs, I think this is well deserving adapter because I just got it for $149 and it allows me to control the, uh, the aperture. It allows me to control the aperture. It doesn't work uh, on the auto focusing part, but it just allows me to set the aperture electronic aperture because this lens is an electronic aperture based so it isn't manual so i have to use this feature on this adapter so looks like i'm pretty much happy with this adapter i hope you have liked this video guys do subscribe to my channel and also just wait in for another video that i will be releasing tomorrow or day after tomorrow uh, with the 50 mm f 1.8 stm lens mounted on this beautiful and worthful adapter thanks guys take care